Good evening, fellow Plexers. I have the latest Ubuntu 24.04 that recently came out installed on an old HP ProDesk 9th Gen system. It's an i5 with a 9500 processor in it. So I want to do a full Plex install video under the new Ubuntu. And what I have set up as a test is I've copied into my home folder some public domain media. And then I have a portable drive with just some music on it, some public domain music. Let's see, where did I put it? Plex Media, Music, Music Main, just a couple songs by three different artists. So most people would think right off the bat that you'd want to get the install file from Plex. But I want to discourage that under Ubuntu. So if I go to Plex Downloads, you'll see it already knows that I'm on a Linux system. I can choose the distribution. And this would be the normal thing that most people would want to choose. But by doing so, you need to figure out how to set up permissions for Plex to see all your media in your different locations. Fortunately, Ubuntu, with their snap package of Plex, has granted those permissions already, and this is a better way to install Plex Media Server, right from the Ubuntu store. Now, little thing, you can filter by Debian packages or by snaps, and by default, it's, it's filtered by snap packages. So we'll just install it. And we'll add a couple libraries after I add this to my Plex account. All right, so I'm going to open it. And let me get my email in. And let me find my password. It's here someplace. Okay. Nice long one. probably over a billion years to crack. I'm not signing the Chrome. Alright, so my phone just gave me notifications of an email. One was probably from Plex and the other was the Plex notification sound I put on my phone of a new server being added. So let's call this HP Pro Desk 63. I do not have this set up, this computer set up for remote access, so I'll uncheck that for now. And we should be able to start adding a few libraries next. Another notification from the Plex Android app on my phone, and we're in. So I'll add a couple movie libraries. Browse for media. Now I want to click on this here, this folder, home, my username, and then this is the media folder I created. I have a 
library sort folder for each library type. So I'll click into the movie library sort folder and into the main and I see my movie folders. I like to go into the advanced settings and set my minimum collection size to two movies. So let's add another movie folder, another library. This one can be documentaries. Again, I'll browse, I'll choose the folder, then the home folder, my username folder, my media folder, the movie library sort folder, and now the movie-documentary folder. I see the one movie. Again, with the advanced settings to the collection size of two. Now I'll add a couple TV show libraries. Rinse and repeat. I see my show folder, so I can stop there and click Add. Again, with the advanced settings. That's a buddy texting me. I like to change the episode ordering to the TVDB because that's what I use as my naming Bible. Add library. We'll add another kids TV show library. So no worry about permissions. The snap package install set all that for us. Advance to change the episode sorting. Now this kids TV show library would not scan in properly if I didn't do this because it's the Looney Tunes from the TVDB and that series doesn't exist at the movie database because it's not a real TV series. And if I remember, I'll explain that in a little bit. Now I'm going to add a music library. And this will be the tricky one. I am totally unscripted, so I'm not sure where to go. I don't want to go in the same spot I've been. All right, I just happened to find my portable drive, so let's back up. So I clicked the folder, and then I went to, I just did it, media, my username, this folder, and Plex Media is where I put the music, Music Main, and those three artist names you saw earlier in the video. So it's not quite as straightforward to find your portable, but still the permissions were granted. I'll hit Next and Done, and now I'm brought into my, my, my regular web app. And this is my default server. So if I click settings, I'm on this server, but the web app is set up to view things from here. So to see those libraries quickly, I'll go down to manage libraries. Let me do a refresh here. Sign back in, and that refresh brought these new libraries onto the screen. Before I forget, I'll want to go up to General here under Plex Web 
and click automatically sign in and save changes. So let me go back to the libraries and we'll check things out. Everything scanned properly. A few public domain episodes from three different TV shows. The Looney Tunes in the kids TV show library. And I'll still explain that in a minute. And my music library. So no permissions had to be dealt with. The Ubuntu Snap Package handled that perfectly fine. So let's, um, let's go to TMDB. And let's search for the Looney Tunes. Now we've got movies and we have TV shows. And we're already on the TV shows. So this one's from 2005, 2002, 2011, 2020, 2015. Now let's go to TVDB. All right, so 2011, this show, Baby Looney Tunes, and here's the golden nugget, 1929 for Looney Tunes. We all know there was no TV shows or the, even the TV technology in 1929, so what are these? Well, I've explained this in other videos. The TVDB as a database has done a a huge service to all of us who run our own media servers where they've allowed old movie shorts to be entered into the database in a TV show format. May 1st, 1929, the first Looney Tune cartoon came out. I'm not even sure if it was called a Looney Tune cartoon then, but this was a movie trailer um, before some movie someplace. So if we look at this, 19, let's, let's do 1942 during World War II. These were simply shorts played before different movies. There's a few other areas that the TVDB helps us out. Another cartoon is Tom and Jerry. Nineteen forty, and I didn't mention it on the Looney Tunes, but when you go into the season view, you would name the season after whatever you see here. So for the Looney Tunes, it would be nineteen thirty-nine for that one season, and this would be nineteen forty, even though it says nineteen forty dash nineteen forties. So if I go to my structure. And let's see, where am I? Media PD. And I go into the sort folder for TV show libraries and into the kids folder and into Looney Tunes. You'll see I have a season 1930 and a season 1931. And then you'll see the same format. I've got a Looney Tunes with a year in parentheses. And then the season episode co coding is also S1931E01. So that's one of the main reasons I use the TMDB instead of the movie database as my naming guide. Another, another um, series that I have or fake series that I have is... Many, many of the Ken Burns films, doctor, well, Ken Burns documentaries, and there's an entry to create one TV show library out of all of them, or one TV show entry out of all of them, called Ken Burns Films. And these have the same year for the um, season numbering. 
So you can keep the whole collection in one entry in Plex if you're lucky enough to have everything. So that's about it. That's my um, pitch for the snap package of Plex Media Server and everything seems to work fine. Well, we, we did not check this out. We did not check to see how it plays. And we can only use the web app to check to see how it plays right now. That's all I'm set up for. Let me go into movies. And let's do the remastered The Hitchhiker. And you'll see that it plays. We'll try a TV show. Betty White's first TV show, I think they um, filmed the whole thing in a studio at the TV station in Los, well, someplace in LA, I think, a suburb. Let's do season one and play an episode. So Ubuntu, 24.04 installs Plex pretty easily as long as you use the snap package. Thank you for watching and happy Plexing.